gorgeous people. Today we're making Asha Musafai Berenj or Persian rice soup made with cooked rice, herbs, and lentils. To get started, slice a large onion and fry it in 5 to 6 tablespoons of olive oil or any vegetable oil. Once your onion pieces become golden brown, add 1 tablespoon of dried mint leaves and 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Later, pour 4 cups of hot water and 1 cup of rinsed lentils. Keep in mind that in Persian cuisine, there are many kinds of Persian rice soups and this is one kind that is very well known among Persians. Now it's time to adjust your heat to medium high as we want these lentils to cook really well. Now depending on the age and quality of your lentils, it may take less or more time for them to cook. After about 15 to 20 minutes, when your lentils become semi-cooked, you want to add one cup of beef broth, chicken broth, turkey broth, or vegetable broth. Next, add two bunches of roughly chopped cilantro and 20 to 24 ounces of roughly chopped spinach leaves. It really doesn't matter how precise you chop your vegetables because they're all gonna shrink significantly once they cook. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love spinach because of its health benefits. It alkalizes the body, lowers blood pressure, fights psoriasis and acne, aids in digestion, and lowers blood sugar. Additionally, spinach contains a high amount of iron, vitamin B6, vitamin B1, folate, and niacin. To intensify the flavor of my soup, I'm adding 21 grams of chicken bouillon. You may choose to add beef bouillon or completely skip this step. As you can see, the spinach and cilantro leaves are starting to lose their shape and become darker. Before you start the cooking process for this dish, you want to soak one cup of basmati rice in water for about three to six hours. Next, proceed with pouring one cup of hot water into your pot and one cup of soaked and drained basmati rice. Basmati rice is high in fiber and the fiber in it is soluble, meaning it adds bulk and helps move waste along the digestive tract. After adding your basmati rice, allow it to cook for about an hour and 15 minutes on medium-low heat until the rice is nice, soft, and mushy. Next, you'll need 2-3 to three cups of yogurt. You may use dairy or non-dairy yogurt. I'm actually using some homemade yogurt, which I'll definitely share the recipe in the future. Mixing your soup with yogurt is completely optional, but in my opinion, it significantly elevates the flavor of your soup. First, you must whisk your yogurt for a few minutes until it's super smooth and there are no visible clumps in it. Next, mix your soup with the yogurt to achieve this homogeneous color. The great thing about this recipe is that you can make it vegan by adding non-dairy yogurt and vegetable broth instead of beef broth or chicken broth. Similarly, if you're on a low-carb or ketogenic diet, you may add lentil rice or chickpea rice instead of basmati rice. As you can observe, my Persian rice soup is ready to be served. On the side, I have some feta cheese, barberry bread, which is a kind of Persian flatbread, vegetables, and walnuts. I have garnished my Persian rice soup with some yogurt and mint sauce. I have talked about this mint sauce in some previous videos that can be found on our YouTube channel. To create this mint sauce, you need to add one tablespoon of dried mint leaves along with one fourth of a cup olive oil or any vegetable oil into a small frying pan. This sauce is pretty simple because you just need to fry it for one to two minutes max on medium low heat until your mint leaves become darker and turn into a dark green color. 
The amount of ingredients that I've used for this recipe is sufficient to feed four to six people. So it's a great meal for busy parents and individuals who are always on the go. I love to cook this during the weekend and consume it throughout the week. I hope you enjoyed learning about this fun Persian rice soup recipe. All the details will be included in the description box down below as always, so don't forget to check that out. Please don't forget to share this video with your loved ones, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you in my next episode. Take care!